endometritis what is endometritis have you been asking yourself what endometritis is are you a woman and you have lower abdominal pain and you are asking yourself what could be causing this lower abdominal pain we are talking about endometritis what is endometritis Gerard Massa the health educator is the name of the channel and on this channel we do talk about fertility reproductive health and also anything related to getting pregnant faster naturally so many of our clients have been asking the question what is endometritis endometritis comes from the word endometrium when we are talking about endometrium we are looking at the innermost part of your uterus if we have a womb if we have your uterus and we take a closer look at it it has specifically three layers the outer layer is known as the perimetrium the next layer the innermost layer is also known as the myometrium myo means muscle and then it's a muscular layer and then the innermost layer which is normally very bright on ultrasound is known as the endometrium lero tulikogera ko echiwadde chebaita endometritis era tugambye nti singo obadde olie yonga webuza endometritis kitegeza chi kyekirwadde echa nabana echi affecting nabana yo whereby osanga nabana nga ezimbye ate nebange likuluma nnyo nga te olina ne signs ezolusuja suja we've said that endometritis is brought about by many things but in this particular case we shall talk about the commonest causes of endometritis and the commonest cause of endometritis is actually when you do urinate in places used by many people places which are crowded places which are used by people who you do not know their health status if someone has for example a pid or someone has an infection like gonorrhea or even syphilis or even chlamydia and they urinate in a place and you also come in you do not know who has just used that particular part and you squat there and urinate you are actually as a female you are most likely to end up getting conditions known as endometritis or issues with your reproductive system endometritis is among the leading causes of fertility issues if you are getting challenges with your fertility you are getting challenges getting pregnant then you could actually be having endometritis we've talked about the cause of endometritis tugambye nti ebisobola okubanga bireta ekirwadde kino kyabaita endometritis kwe kufuwisa awantu awakozesebwa abantu abanji ate awantu awo katugezoli wabayi nakabotongo nabanga afuwisiza awantu awo changu nnyo nawe ojano stamono fuwisawo osobola kufuna kabotongo oyo we are proceeding with endometritis and we have said that we've talked about the causes we are going to look at the tests that can be done to confirm that you could be having endometritis the first test that can be done to confirm that you could be having endometritis is what we call the pelvic ultrasound scan the pelvic ultrasound scan specifically is a test whereby your doctor will take images or pictures of your reproductive of your reproductive system on a screen which is also known as an ultrasound machine the ultrasound machine has a screen which will display images there's a small instrument is known as the probe which is actually attached on or it is actually rubbed on your uh, that region where your, your your uterus is located just below the umbilical uh, the, the umbilical cord just below uh, the post umbilical region that probe it has small crystals which are known as piezoelectric crystals these crystals specifically send sound signals into your body and then these sound signals are transmitted back onto the machine through special techniques this machine can interpret or it can display these sound signals as images these are what we call the ultrasound images talking about endometritis and ultrasound 
these two are actually inseparable. What am I trying to say? If you want to find out or if you really want to confirm that you could be having endometritis, you are actually advised to do uh, a pelvic ultrasound scan. A pelvic ultrasound scan will show endometritis. There are many tests that can be done. For example, you could actually, your doctor would actually recommend like a urine analysis test or a urine culture and sensitivity test. It's also equally very good. Or your doctor could even recommend an HSG uh, X-ray imaging technique, also known as the hysterosalpingogram or even a sono hysterosalpingogram. But we have to keep things simple, basic and so true. The best test I would recommend for confirming that you could be having issues with your reproductive system, the first test which is cheap and affordable, you can do it here at our facility. We actually do it at a very affordable uh, fee of around two to three dollars here in Uganda. Roughly that is 10 southern Uganda shillings. It is very affordable in such a way that it can actually be accessed. So the ultrasound scan will show images of your uterus. The outer wall, we say, it is called the perimetrium. The innermost, the inner uh, layer, which is next to the perimetrium, is known as the myometrium. And then the innermost layer is known as the endometrium. Remember, we are talking about endometritis, inflammation of the innermost layer, inflammation of that inside of your uterus. In the normal cases, the endometrium will be visible. Your doctor will be able to see the endometrium and your doctor can actually do the measurements of your endometrium, the innermost layer. No more is supposed to be at least anything less than two millimeters. That is two millimeters and below, you could actually be having an endometrium of one millimeter, 1.5 millimeters, but anything that goes beyond two millimeters your doctor measures and it is 10 millimeters, it is 20 millimeters. That's what we call endometrial hyperplasia. Endometrial hyperplasia simply means that your endometrium has become so big. But if at all images are taken and then the inside of your uterus is showing that it is so big, but it is also having areas which are, in scan language, we call it hyperechoic scattered areas. In simple languages, in, in, in simple language, making it simple, if your endometrium is having small scattered uh, parts, like, uh, for example, when you look at the sky in the night, you will actually see stars. So if at all, the inside of your endometrium is actually very big, and then there are some scattered areas which are bright, kind of like stars in the sky, then actually you could be having a condition known as endometritis, but being brought about by what we call gas-producing bacteria. Gas-producing bacteria on ultrasound specifically, it gives that imaging or that appearance of as if there are some bright areas inside your uterus. Endometritis is treatable, but before you do get treatment, it's always advisable that you do those tests. endometritis. Engeri okaya josobo lo kubanga. Oba doktor wo josobo lo kubanga. Azula nchori na chine chibadde. Echa endometritis. Edi emu. Doktor wo aba genda kola scan. Scan eno oba ka TV. Tukaita uh, pelvic ultrasound scan. Kama ka genda kulaga munda mwana wana yo. Nga wazimbe. Atine chidala. Eida musobo lo kubela mwa mazi. Ama chafu. Oba musobo lo kubela mu chetuita gas producing bacteria obuka obubanga buleta infection nenga ateba buita gas producing bacteria and after the pelvic ultrasound scan has been done and confirmation has been made that you could be having endometritis then your doctor can move on to actually do some tests to identify specifically which bacteria is causing the endometritis and that's when the urine culture and sensitivity will be requested urine culture and sensitivity test and then even your doctor would actually recommend what we call a blood culture and sensitivity test. Endometritis is treatable. If endometritis is not treated, what happens is that there are high chances that you could end up getting 
challenges in how your normal periods flow. You could actually also have challenges with getting pregnant. You could actually end up getting fertility uh, challenges. There are many women, many couples who are actually uh, having challenges with fertility, challenges with getting pregnant, just because inside where the baby is supposed to be growing from is already affected by this condition known as endometritis. Would you like to have a private chat with me, a one-on-one -on -one chat with me? Then please kindly, you can reach me on my WhatsApp. There are two numbers on WhatsApp. Remember, consultation is free, but I will just kindly request that you reach me on these two numbers. The first one is plus 256-701-7978 and 76. That's plus 256 the next number for our chatting with me on WhatsApp, if you would like to have a private consultation with me, it is plus 256-787-668-962. Again, plus 256-787-668-962. You can send me a message and I will get your messages and as soon as I get your messages I will reply them if I delay to reply you it means probably I'm still at uh, at work I'm still at hospital so busy whereby uh, we are actually not allowed to have the smartphones with us and then all that but after work around uh, 19 hours 20 hours in the evenings I can actually settle down and have a one-on-one -on -one consultation many of uh, my clients are consulting me on WhatsApp and by the grace of God, many of them are sending me images of positive pregnancy tests and they've not met me in person, but we have a chat, we address where the issue could be, probably it could be stress, it could be uh, issues with their reproductive system and actually they are, uh, they are getting pregnant and I'm really humbled and I'm so thankful to God for the opportunity to share with you, to interact with you. So, if you would like to connect with me on my WhatsApp, you would like to consult me, kindly send me a message and we shall talk more. I'm looking at reaching out many of our couples with this information, with information about fertility, because not everyone can get that access to WhatsApp. Not everyone can get that opportunity or that opportunity to watch YouTube. They are actually couples, they are families, they are there are people who are far away, uh, some of our friends are far away, in far away places which are really hard to reach. And they don't know anything about YouTube. They don't know anything about WhatsApp. But we are looking at doing outreaches to reach all these people, all these couples who would like or who would also be able to benefit from this information like you are also learning about fertility, about uh, endometritis. So I actually put up a website whereby we are looking at collecting or uh, having friends donate to us and then so that we can be able to access all these uh, friends of ours who are in hard to reach areas. So if you would like to give your donation, you can simply go to my website. It is, uh, sorry, it is www.fertilityeducator.com site that is www.fertilityeducator.site 